hello friends welcome again today in this video i am going to talk about the malarial life cycle so as we all know that malaria is a very common disease and it is mainly caused by a vector which is known as female anopheles mosquito so due to female mo female anopheles mosquito malarial parasite is um, malaria parasite is transferred from one from one um, host to another host and cause the disease malaria so mainly malarial uh, malaria is a disease which caused by the protozoa malaria protozoa plasmodium and uh, there are many different species of this uh, plasmodium as you can see here plasmodium vivax plasmodium malariae plasmodium ovale plasmodium falciparus so plasmodium uh, is a protozoa which is mainly um, which is mainly responsible for the disease malaria and there are different species of this uh, protozoa vivax malariae uh, ovale and falciparus in which vivax is the most common species of plasmodium and falciparum is the most dangerous species of this plasmodium protozoa so this is a protozoan disease and uh, malarial parasite require two host as one is human and second second host is mosquito that's why it is known as a diagenetic life cycle so malarial life cycle is diagenetic because it requires two host and there are different species of malarial parasite that is plasmodium vivax malariae ovale and falciparum so now after this this is the life cycle of a plasmodium vivax and how it uh, goes from one host to another host so as we all know that mosquito which is female anopheles in the salivary gland of a female mo anopheles mosquito there is a stage of malarial parasite plasmodium vivax which is known as sporozoites so in the gut of female anopheles sporozoites are already present in the salivary gland of this female anopheles and these sporozoit this is a stage of uh, this protozoa that is plasmodium now when mosquito when the female anopheles bites human then uh, she transfers then a female mosquito transfer these sporozoites inside the blood of human so as the first host is mosquito and second host is human so in human blood there is now sporozoites are present in the uh, blood of human after 30 minutes these sporozoites that is the stage of protozoa plasmodium this stage uh, reach to the liver in 30 minutes after 30 minutes of mosquito bite these sporozoites uh, present goes to the liver goes to the liver so in 30 minutes these sporozoites uh, reach to the liver and in the liver they undergo asexual reproduction remember they undergo asexual reproduction after growth to form merozoites so this is second stage this is another stage of protozoa which is known as merozoites this uh, uh, term is very important to remember so merozoites are the stage of a protozoa which is formed after the asexual reproduction in liver and after uh, and after the formation of merozoites in liver these stages then goes into the rbcs in the blood and this now this stage is known as a trophozoite so, so there are up up, uh, up till there are three stages one is a sporozoite second one is merozoites and after that there is a trophozoites and after the trophozoites remember all these things happening in the human so this blue color represents the human uh, represents the life cycle of um, plasmodium inside the human body and uh, this or this um, orange color represents the life cycle of mosquito inside the uh, life cycle of a plasmodium inside the mosquito so after the asexual reproduction merozoites are formed and after merozoite there is another stage which is known as rbc trophozoites and after the formation of trophozoite these um, again undergo schizogony schizogony is a process uh, during which they again form further form merozoites so from the trophozoites again they form merozoites so merozoites is very important to remember and after the formation of merozoites and trophozoites and merozoites rbcs bursts when this stage is from merozoites inside the rbcs then rbc burst and release another 
substance which is known as hemozoin so this hemozoin is very important um very important to know because it is a chemical substance which responsible for chills and for fever so um the hemozoin the release of hemozoins is very important because it it is responsible for the chills or fever for fever during the malaria so the days for malarial fever are different in different species like in plasmodium vivax after 2 days hemozoin is released in plasmodium malariae um there is a 3 days for the for the release of hemozoin so it is responsible for chill and fever so hemozoin is very important to remember again after the release of hemozoin there are three fate for the um uh, for this uh, for this um, merozoites they can go either into the rbcs to the liver again and again form uh, and again form merozoite and trophozoite after after the asexual reproduction and they can form gametocytes as the name suggests gametocytes so mean so it means that these are the cells which can form gametes so this is the gametocytes so there are three fates for this uh, for the for the merozoites they, they either can go rbcs they can go to the liver and they can form gametocytes now up till uh, up till the stages are going uh, inside the human body and after this again mosquito bite the human body and sucks the blood when uh, mosquito uh, suck the blood then these gametocytes reach into the a uh, salivary glands reach into the salivary gland of the mosquito and they stored inside the salivary gland of mosquito so these gametocytes are stored inside the salivary gland of mosquito and after that they uh, reach into the gut of mosquito and in the mosquito they reach into the uh, gut of the mosquito and in the in the gut again they form gametes and there is a and uh, after the formation of gametes from the gametocytes fertilization takes place and after gradual development remember gradual development again sporozoites are formed so these sporozoites sporozoites are now present inside the gut of the female anopheles and again the life cycle starts again so remember that in the mosquito sexual reproduction occur but in the human asexual reproduction is occur so asexual reproduction present in the human human host and sexual reproduction present in the um, present in the mosquito host in the gut of mosquito sexual reproduction uh, is present is occurring and in the liver asexual reproduction of female and asexual reproduction of this uh, protozoa is going on so after the asexual reproduction merozoites and form are uh, merozoites are formed and after the a, after the sexual reproduction in mosquito gametes are formed and gametes again uh, form fertil again going for further processes that is fertilization and form sporozoites and life cycle starts again so this is a very simple way to um, simple way to discuss the mosquito uh, discuss the malarial parasites life cycle and uh, due to this uh, life cycle in which asexual and sexual reproduction is occurring and liver cells and rbcs and uh, many another chemical like hemozoins all these things happening so this is very important life cycle to remember and it is very important uh, in respect of any competitive exam so it is very important to understand so this was all about the malaria life cycle i hope this video will help you thank you friends